Hello and welcome to this Python automation tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. So we've got a situation. I want to use Python to automate my web browser bookmarks. However, I've grown over 100 bookmarks and it's actually becoming problematic to go in there every morning, filter out the sites that I would use for my blogs or to learn because I work in data, so I constantly want to be learning. Um, so I want Python to do this for me and fire it up. So we require a file to list our frequently visited websites. I'm just using a text file and Notepad++. You can just use standard Notepad or whatever you like. And we need a code editor or IDE to execute our Python code. And we're gonna go into my IDE Atom now and look at how we can actually do this. All right, so from a conceptual level, what are we actually doing with this very short Python automation script? Well, we take in a web browser module that's going to help us navigate and automatically open those web pages. We then point Python to the folder that we saved the text file. And within there, we have three links. You can have more or less. And that was just blogs or sites that you may regularly use. And Python will iterate through those and open these up within our default web browser. So the first action that I need to take is to actually import the web browser module. You can go ahead and, and look this up, but it's a nice and simple controller um, for our chosen web browser. And it's also um, great if you wanna automate other elements of the web. From there, we need to open, as I said, wherever we save that text file or file. Um, so the read lines method within here, so we associate file.readlines within links, and it returns a list containing each line in the file as a list item. From there, with the for link in links, we can iterate through each of those links that are contained as one of those lines within our text file. And from here, we use webbrowser.get, and you'll notice I've got Windows default because I want to just point the web browser module within the standard web browser that I have on my system, which is set to Chrome. You can do that yourself within settings. And then we want to open each link, each of those lines within that links variable. So it should open in the default browser by standard, but I was having issues in opening on, I think it was Edge as well as Chrome. So by using that Windows default, I've actually restricted it just to Chrome, but it would be whatever your Windows system default browser is if you went down this route. Um, if not, you can just use the, the .get if, you, if you're not concerned and if it works okay for you. So you'll see here, ignore the first tab that was already open, but I actually get the three files, uh, the three um, websites I'd specified within my text file. So just Google as a trial, um, Again, I work in data analytics, so I'd regularly want to be on community blogs and reading up sort of new releases, new technology, new tools, whatever. And SQL is a huge passion and part of my life. So again, I would want to automatically be on this. So this is quite a nice, very simple, but quite a nice workaround than having to go into bookmarks, navigate through it um, and, and select the appropriate ones. And also you could have, have this operated by a trigger or a scheduled task every morning at a certain time where you can just automatically fire up all your blogs. Um, and as we're always learning in these sort of industries, it takes a bit of weight off your shoulders. As usual, if you enjoy this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.